Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Our menu grind is on fire right now in FC24 with the new footies player picks, but I also think it's exposed a little bit of the problem, especially from what a lot of us really want out of the footies content. We're missing one specific type of SBC that would just take this grind from good to great. And I want to unpack that today and talk about what type of SBC a lot of us really want in this game. We also need to look for SBCs that could be coming today. You know what it is. It's Tuesday. We're going to get some sort of pack or player pick SBC along with probably another player. So we'll talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over that player content from yesterday. First, with our daily player SBC being one that was, um, I don't know how you would call it, just interesting to say the least because a lot of people saw this leak yesterday before content. Guys, the player SBCs are being leaked almost every single day on Twitter a few hours beforehand. The leak of Ruben Loftus-Cheek, I think, got a few people excited because this this card is always one who just kind of plays above his stats in game, his body type, his build in game. I remember using his live tots card for a few games back during team of the season, and he's very good. Four star, five star, high, high work rate, six foot three, kind of a more like big body. Maybe I don't know if you'd compare him to Vieira, but kind of more of a defensive, great with interceptions. He's got intercept plus, more defensive type midfielder. Every single passing play style, he's got anticipate regular as well, even has press proven, which is nice. Doesn't have relentless but does have still pretty good stamina with 90 rated. But honestly, guys, this SBC is just really good because it's cheap. Loftus-Cheek is coming in with two squads, no team of the seasons or team of the weeks required, which is a huge dub, only 78,000 coins. I think this is just a card where he plays a little bit above what his stats might actually say on the face of the card. I think it's worth doing if you have some extra fodder left over from the player picks, but I do know that some people were disappointed that this wasn't like a wow type of insane SBC because this along the lines of Sorloth that was dropped two days ago, right, is just good, but it's not great. And a lot of people right now are just looking for SBCs that go into their teams. And I think for a lot of people, this is just one that falls by the wayside because they don't want to craft something that doesn't get in their team in, unless they, you know, it's a really, really good card with insane stats. But again, that's why we need that certain type of SBC I want to talk about here in just a little bit. So I think it's a good SBC. It's a fun one. It's a cheap one. Get it done if it interests you. You won't be disappointed with the type of player that he is, in my opinion. Now, let's talk about the player picks because, of course, we had our beloved 82-plus player pick return. And, you know, I'm going to be completely honest. Maybe play devil's advocate here just a little bit. It's eight players, two rares. It's not that different from the 81-plus player pick. In terms of how grindable this is with the non-rares and the rares that you have to turn in, you're still going to end up running out of rares. That's what I found from doing these yesterday. So, of course, to supplement those rares in your club with all the non-rares that you're going to be getting from exchanges and the daily gold upgrades, the regular gold upgrade pack is the one to do to get those rares back. So, I did want to preface this SBC by saying that we do need to be doing the gold upgrade to get some rares back in the club to keep the 82 pluses going. Now, the thing that really separates this 82 plus from the 81 plus of uh, last week is the pack weight. The pack weight in these 82 pluses is absolutely better. It's 100% better because yesterday we opened up a bunch on share play. Um, and even I was opening up a bunch as well. And you can just tell that the special card drop rate from these is way higher. And in turn, what that gets you is more higher rated special cards, obviously, which go into exchanges, which means you're just doing more and more of these player picks. So the menu grind and the menu craft is definitely improved from the 81 plus player pick to this 82 plus, but it's not necessarily because of the requirements of the SBC. It's just because of the pack weight. Now, if you want to see us open a bunch of these and other packs yesterday, that's on the second channel. I'll link that above. Of course, we're trying to upload a lot of the footies packs there just because it's a fun time to grind at the moment on stream and all the stuff that we were doing. So 82 plus it's back. It's great. There's not a whole lot else to say here, except our beloved 82 plus pick is back. Now, we had two player picks yesterday, the other one being the 85-plus player pick refreshing every single day for an 84-rated squad. When I saw that right away, I was like, hmm, 
more demand for 84 rated, which we've been trading with and watching on the market very closely. And that did make them go even higher yesterday. One of our favorite investments. We're going to be able to buy them again today. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But this is a nice addition. An 84 rated squad doing the 82 plus picks, you're going to get a lot of 84s. Where can you put them? The team and league player pick, whatever other player SBCs you're trying to get done, the 84 times 10. And now another option, the 85 plus pick, which is undoubtedly going to get you some more higher rated players that can at least go into the exchanges and just bring you more 82 plus player picks and allow you to craft any other possible SBC that is out. Now, speaking of the 84 rated requirement of that SBC and looking at 84s specifically, guys, take a look at these cards. 2.2K once again for 84s. Every single day, I look at these cards and it's like, this is the best no-brainer investment on this game. Yes, it's tedious. Yes, it takes some time. Lukaku was 2.2 yesterday. He was even 2.3K right before content. You can win 84s on bid all day, just over 2,000 coins. And look how high he went yesterday, 3.8K. And that's not just him. A lot of these cards were above 3,000 coins yesterday for a spike of content. 3K was kind of the minimum that they went to. The ones I would tell you to buy would be the ones that have the spikes higher than 3K, like that Lukaku card would be one who maybe is just a little bit more rare for some reason. You can see here that um, Ruben Neves went up to 3,000 coins as well. Um, I think Chloe Kelly is one who ends up being a little bit more rare. If you just find the cards that somehow are a little more rare than others that go a little bit higher in price, those are the ones to buy. Like, let's look at Labatka. He's 2.4K. Last one here to check. Yes, see, he went to like 3K as well yesterday. Some of the graphs don't even show 3K, but all of these cards, literally almost all of them, we're selling at 3,000 coins. Buying 84s on bid for 2,000 coins and selling them for 3K is the easiest money you can do every single day on this game. And here's a little bit of a tip. If you want to get them on low bids, this is a little bidding filter that you can set up. Do a minimum price of like 1,200, maximum price of 2,200 or maybe 2,100, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to sort through here. Wait till you see an 84 like this Fabinho and you say, okay, I'm good to bid up to 2.2K. This is just a way to actually find fodder to bid on in certain ranges. Like, yeah, you're going to filter through a lot of 81s and 82s. Maybe you could, maybe we could make the filter a little bit different. But like, let's say for 85s, we wanted to do this as well. We're going to set the minimum bid price to like, you know, two, let's say it's 3.2. And right now, 85s are about 4K. So we're going to put that to, two. let's do 2.5 and 3.9. This is a great way during the entire year to be bidding on fodder. Boom, Emmy Martinez. 2.5k bid start price, right? That's a card I'd add to my transfer targets, drop a bid on it. Here's another 85. John Stones under 4k. That's in your bid range. So that's kind of a way it works better with like 86s, 7s, and 8s. But that's a way that if you're just trying to stock up on some fodder at the moment, you can do that and also get a lot of players to show up in a search instead of searching the players individually. So I wanted to mention that because fodder is the best thing that's moving right now. 83s and 84s are moving the best and they're probably going to move again today because of the SBC content that we are expecting. So that's that. Now, here's the real point of the video today, guys. Again, as recognized by the craft that we have right now in this game, it just feels like we're missing one thing, a massive SBC to chip away at. I'm talking an SBC with like 15 plus squads. I'm talking an SBC that's over a million coins, maybe even over 1.5 mil, but something that is massive, that is worth it. And let me jog your memory with a few times where this has happened before during footies and in the end game. Who remembers the FIFA 22 for Lenendi SBC? Very downvoted, if you remember. Very, very downvoted because the first day that he came out, he was crazy expensive and everybody was like, nah, this SBC sucks. Well, then fodder dropped off and EA supplied some of the cards that were making this SBC expensive and he ended up being right around 1.2 to 1.3 mil. And this was a card that almost everybody ended up doing by the end of footies. This card was everywhere. Kind of became like a FIFA 22 footies legend, right? That footies Mendy card. That was just an SBC though that was expensive, but actually worth grinding. You look at the stats and the type of player that Ferlin Mendy already is, and you know how meta he is, the Madrid links, the France links, what he's premium card design, just a cracked card, 99 pace as well, worth it to grind for the price that he was. Now, let's go back to last year. Dino Coverstar. Guys, I actually remember this. Dino Coverstar was during, I think, the beginning stages of footies. He might have been in the second week of footies. This SBC was unbelievable, right? Sure, it was 33 challenges to complete, but like we have now, we had an 84 times 10, we had an 82 plus player pick, we had so many other SBCs 
to be crafting and getting the best of batch one, all those special cards of fodder to turn into this. This is an SBC that so many people did. And of course, right away, it looked expensive. It was very expensive right away. The price dropped off, but it was one that was like, okay, this is actually going to be worth grinding if you put in the time to the menus. That's the type of SBC that I think we need right now. What's our most expensive player SBC? Is it Kaka? He's like 600k. Do we have any other SBCs that are more expensive than 600k? If we do, I'm probably forgetting about them, but there's barely any. Sorloth was cheap, International Stars, yeah, like Vitinha was only three or 400,000 coins. Like we're missing that kind of big ticket SBC that we could probably take three, four, or five days at the fastest. Some people take a week or two weeks to craft, but like somebody that would feel like it's worth it to do that would be in your team until the end of the game. It's that sort of SPC like the Dino last year or the Furlan Mendy from two years ago. Like this year, who could it be? There's plenty of options, right? If somebody has had a team in a tournament card already, they're probably not going to get an end game footies card, maybe at the end of footies or like maybe late August or something like that. So I'm kind of looking towards players who maybe haven't got a team in the tournament or any Euros or Copa related card. Graham Hansen, this was one of the most meta cards at the beginning of FC24 with this card. Her team of the year was insane. This Todd's card is insane as well. Give everybody the chance with a 98 Graham Hansen to use this card, right? A 98 Graham Hansen who's five star, five star with 99 pace, 99 dribbling, and even like 96 and 97 passing. All you have to do is give this card plus ones. Give us an SBC uh, with the fourth play style plus. Let's say it's finesse, rapid. We don't have to do flare plus. We could do flare regular. Finesse, rapid, quick step, and uh, first touch or something like that, right? One of those play style pluses being at the most meta, right? They love to do that with these anyway. But like, let's say that SBC comes out and it's like 2 million coins and it's like 15 squads. That will be a card that I'm like, I'm down to do 82 plus picks, 84 times 10s for a player with, you know, the footies chemistry as well, premium chemistry, which would help for being Liga F, but Barcelona links would help a lot as well. Just a player that I know is super overpowered and super hype first year in the game for her as well, for all the women's cards. That's just somebody that would be like insane to do as an SBC. Now, somebody else that would be good too, Mohamed Salah, drop a five star, five star Mohamed Salah with finesse, technical first touch and quick step, or, you know, maybe incisive pass or press proven for him as well would make sense but like a Salah with the 5-5 five five with juiced stats in an SBC and a footies design would go crazy it's that type of SBC that I think a lot of us even if we didn't even know it like I wasn't thinking about this yesterday until the 82 plus came out and a lot of you guys in the chat in the stream were like yo what SBC do I craft I've already done three or four or five of them that I wanted to do. Um, and now I'm like, well, nah, it's not worth it for me to many others. Like if you had an SBC like that, that you could be continually working on, that would be so sweet. Now the key is it has to be a big name player and it has to be worth it. Um, like for the stats on the card, it can be technically overpriced. Like the Mendy was in FIBA 22 and the Dino even was in FIBA 23. But it's it just gotta be there. It's gotta be something that is there that is like so big and meta and key. Uh, to our end game squads that we just feel like we have to do it. So that's what I'm really hoping for. Let me know in the comments what player you would like to see on a big time, crazy expensive, but also super meta SBC if we were to get one of those. Also, I wanted to mention this. We talked about it yesterday in the stream. I don't know what happened with this Luka Modric dynamic image because obviously this is a change from what he had on the card before. Um, this was his old dynamic image still according to Flipbin. It's still there. I don't know if there was a rights issue here with something in this image. The only thing we talked about on stream was the Champions League logo is there. I don't know if there's anything to do with this image not having that logo in or what it was, but something had to have happened because Modric has a new dynamic image. I don't feel like I want to do the SBC because of the new image. I like it. It's it's a dub. Maybe it's a little more cold than the other one. Uh, but that was random yesterday. Usually that, that doesn't happen unless there's something causing that. So they changed that yesterday, which was really interesting. And I want to talk market here for a second as well, because those footies price ranges that we were calling for. By the way, guys, I deleted the game. I reinstalled it so I can see car designs now, which is fantastic. Still frustrating that I have to do that. But we had some price range updates for some of these footies icons and heroes that were at minimum price. Stoichkov was one of them. He's actually rising. 
at the moment. Let's take a look at this graph because we mentioned it in yesterday's video. If you guys bought any of these, uh, we always know when this happens, right? There's always a low after our price range update and then the cards rise. He was 140,000 coins. He's all the way back up approaching now 180K. Ramirez as well. It was Ramirez, Stoichkov, and Schneider who had the biggest price range um, downgrades, which is like an upgrade, but a downgrade. And then those are the biggest ones that had some price movements as well. This card was 109,000 coins, Ramirez, and now he's back up to 150. What a rise for him. I actually picked up a Wesley Schneider at like 140 something, and I think he went even a little lower than that. Yeah, he was 130s, but now he's back up to like one, he was closing into 160. Yeah, he was 160. Now he's back down a little bit. So those cards had their price range updates. They're now actually obtainable on the market. I got to be honest, I wish I bought this Stoichkov at like one whatever he was, 130 or 140. This has got to be one of the best strikers for 150, 100, under 200,000 coins in this game. First touch, power shot, technical, and just Stoichkov, five-star, five-star. Like, that's a really, really nuts card. Same thing with even Schneider and Ramirez for how cheap those are. Again, another reason to not be owning other players from other promos at the moment if we're on the topic of market right now. Like, the rest of the market's going to be reeling here soon. I mean, it's already been dropping, but these cards are just going to continue to drop in value as the new footies cards, untradeable as well through SBCs that we can get, are just super duper crazy. So that's kind of the upgrade or update right now for the market. Actually, let's talk about footies prices just for a second. These cards are dropping as well. Ribery is 899. Yesterday he was above 900k. Now he's 899. He's been dropping. Goretzka is 470. Wow, he's dropped off a lot. Uh, he was 580 yesterday. Mondays are never good. Mondays are never good for the prices of the impacts cards. Uh, Sophia Smith is down between 1.4 to 1.5, and she was she was in the 1.6s yesterday. Neymar I saw went to seven and a half mil. He had a big drop off, down a million. Now back up to the high sevens. I don't think I would buy any of these cards, for, especially for a longer term investment. Only if it's just to play weekend league games is I would buy them. And then probably we're going to get more footies cards this Friday. I wouldn't want to hold on to the footies cards that are going out of packs. I do not expect them uh, to rise up that much, but they're probably going to be decent to at least think about trading with as some people really do um, want to try out these cards, especially like the 99 Puteus. That's a pretty crazy card. I hope she drops into the two mil range this week. That'd be a card I would love to try because I have not used any of her cards like at all this year, except for the Winter Wild cards that I did just pack and re-released. I should use that one. But uh, the 99, of course, is the most meta, the biggest version. And yeah, these footies cards just continue to dip. That's probably going to happen more today as well. Last day before week in league rewards. Now, today's Tuesday, right? Let's talk about Tuesday content and what could be coming today. Maybe some more SBCs that would be fun to craft. I think that's going to be the word. Tuesday, Gable Tuesdays. You know about it, right? 93 plus PTG Make Your Mark and Team of the Tournament was out last week. If they're going to do anything today, I mean, this SBC last week was a little bit disappointing because it just felt like the weight was just not good. So I hope they change something from this, but this is the type of SBC that I would expect to see. Maybe if they made it a 94 plus, that might be taking too many players out from the bottom fodder tier, but it would maybe give us a higher chance that some of those team of tournament players that had some of the biggest upgrades, you know, some of the Maker Mark and PTG cards still didn't even get some of the upgrades that they could have gotten through the Euros and through Copa America. So if they up the rating on this to 94 plus, that would be mint. What did this require last week? It was an 86 and an 88 with a team of the season. I'm looking back at fodder once again, guys, because I know we're all getting fodder from player picks, but if an SBC like this comes out and it's really good, I mean, it's a gamble Tuesday. People are going to want to do this. I think fodder could move a little bit. If it's an 88 rated squad requirement, you might have some 88s that would move. Looks like they're in the 9K range, which is pretty low. One thing I want to point out with fodder real quick is 90 rateds are 15K. This is bonkers. Guys, if you have coins and you want to just fill up your club with gold rares and non-rares, just kind of fill up your club in that way. Also have a chance at packing the promo cards and the best of re-release. Buy 89s and 90s, especially buy 90s. They're cheaper than 89s, right? Buy them for 15K and just start doing your player picks that way. Buy a 90 rated for 15,000 coins. Do you know how much coin value you're getting out of a 90 exchange or an 89 exchange, right? You're getting 51 gold players out of that, which I believe is somewhere around the range of like 22 or 23, I think somewhere in there, 1,000 coins 
at the discard value for the gold cards you're getting out of this, that means that's like a 9,000 coin difference between what you're paying for that and for all those gold cards by buying 190 rated and what you're actually getting back. So it is very worth it if you have coins. If you don't have coins or if you're low, I wouldn't spend a lot on that because you can, of course, get the gold rares and the, the non-rares through doing the daily gold upgrade SBC 10 times a day. Um, yep, I need to do that. I stopped in the middle of doing it yesterday, I guess, on stream. So do that at first if you're on low coin amounts. But if you have a good amount of coins, you can just skip that and go straight to exchanges. And once you get started on doing player picks, you won't have to buy more exchanges. But that's just one way to get started quickly because 90 rated are just disgustingly cheap at the moment. Now, if we were to, this is another quick tip. If we were to get like, let's say a Graham Hansen or a Salah or one of those crazy expensive multiple million, like tons of squads SPCs, you're probably going to see 92, maybe even a 93 rated squad requirement. And if that were to happen, I would be looking into 94 and 95 rated, maybe even testing the waters with 96. Because if something like that comes out, it's really easy to obtain, you know, stuff that's like 80, like basically 90 rated and below, 91 rated too with the special cards that are in packs. But if they release a high rated squad requirement in any SPC upcoming in the future, that kind of really high tier fodder, people are going to be buying it because they're going to be packing 88s, 89s, and 90s to put into a 91, 92, 93 rated squad. They're going to have to put in a high rated player to finish that off. So that's not something that will happen right away. But when it does, or when there's a leak maybe of like a massive player like if they say Dino is coming as an SBC or like even Zidane greats of the game if he was to get an SBC that would be the type of investment you would maybe want to think about if it looks like it's going to be that crazy insane of a card now that's the content for today I would expect is some sort of 93 plus gamble Tuesday type of player pick also today I'd expect a player SBC let's open these couple packs right here 85 doubles I don't know where these are from uh, that's Forsberg. Forsberg is everywhere. Watch me get the other Forsberg since there's two versions. Oh, there's only one in this pack. Never mind. Thought it was a double walkout. Guess I'm only getting an 85 on the flip side. Yeah, Grealish. Um, I would expect another player SBC today as well, of course, because we're getting player SBCs every single day. Um, maybe another hero or an icon position change. Speaking of icons, we are getting... Who's this? Kostic and then... Who's on the back side? I'm intrigued. <gasps> Team of the year. Franck Ribéry. Okay. Okay, now I've packed Puteus 99 and Franck Ribéry, who both have footies cards in packs. And I've packed the base, like the special version in packs. Are you kidding me, man? I have dupe theory now for Ribéry and... Ah, Puteus, bro. I need the footies versions. Come on, EA Sports. All right, that was a good 85 double, though. No complaints. We take that. That's a Ribéry card that I've wanted to try out. And I think he's evolvable if I remember correctly anyways um i think we'll get a player spc today and again here's another just reasoning as you see that to keep the craft going oh i can evo him um do i really want ariel though on ribbery no thanks so that's that keep doing your packs keep doing the upgrades the 82 plus picks you could have a card like that i packed zinedine zidane oh that's a spoiler for the second channel video i packed zidane from an 82 plus pick i think it was uh yesterday as well or maybe that was in a pack i forget but i packed zidane he's in the french squad gameplay yesterday was absolutely terrible it was shambolic i switched to my main team because it was so bad i just gave up on the champs challenge now i'm just trying to get 11 wins this is an abysmal record three and five i don't know what happened yesterday but gameplay felt awful um now i will say trying out this kaka card he didn't score for me yet but he was a beast and i'm excited to use him more i think i'm just going to try to get two more wins with the france squad to get to 83 times 20 and then just try to get 11 wins with the main team we'll be finishing that up today on stream and seeing what other content we get and of course the new gamble tuesday pick and crafting through a bunch of player picks 84 times 10s the footies grind so the pack grind is still fun the menu grind is great because a new player pick i just think like we talked about we need that upper tier upper echelon chase of a big spc to really motivate a lot of us to keep crafting through the menus right now so if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new see you in a twitch stream today that link's down below and again check out the second channel i will see you guys in a video soon it's been nathan with Count. peace out